Hi, I'm Taeyang Choi from Republic of Korea. Hi, I am Chen Lee and I'm from Republic of Korea. And we're going to present our study research on biodegradation of plastic using yellow mealer. According to some research done by the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, almost 500 billion plastic bottles are used every year. However, only 9% of this enormous amount of plastic is recycled, which means that unrecycled plastics end up in landfills or the oceans. We researched and tried to find a way, specifically biodegradation, to break down plastic efficiently. According to Rob Jordan from Stanford University, mealworms can consume various kinds of plastic. The testy hypothesis that mealworms can biologically break down plastic in a safe way, our experiment will determine how well mealworms degrade different types of plastic using polystyrene, styrofoam box, polyethylene, polyethylene film, and PVC, PVC tube. Polyethylene is a polyphylene resin that belongs to a significant polyethylene resin family. It is the world's most frequently used plastic found in everything from clear food wrap and shopping bags to detergent bottles and automobile fuel tanks. Only a few bacteria and fungi, including Fusarium solani, were known to break down PET. No species were definitely, definitively known to degrade PET as a principal carbon and energy source. PVC or vinyl is a high strength thermoplastic polymer that is widely utilized in applications such as pipelines, medical equipment, and wire and cable insulation. PVC has the most significant amount of plasticizers of all the primary forms of synthetic plastics up to 50%. Because many fungi and bacteria use plasticizers as source of nutritional carbons, plasticized PVC is frequently attacked by them. Polystyrene is a commonly used type of plastic, especially in food packaging and laboratory wear. According to Allman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry, polystyrene is one of the most widely produced plastics, several million tons a year. An experiment done at the University of Zimbabwe suggests that bacteria found in the guts of Tenebria molitor, T. molitor, can degrade polystyrene. T. molitor is commonly known as a mealworm. Polypropylene, PP, also known as polythene, is a thermoplastic polymer used in various ways worldwide. Research done at Amity University by Abhinav Srivastava and Uday Pratap Singh showed that two specific bacteria slash fungi could decompose polypropylene when exposed to an isolated environment. These bacteria and fungus are Staphylococcus sp and Aspergillus fumigatus, respectively. Mealworms are the larval stage of a mealworm beetle, about two centimeters long. Wayman Wu, a research engineer at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, stated that mealworms have microorganisms in their gut. Specifically, the bacteria is called Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which breaks down plastic during mealworms digestion. Research done at Daegu Gyeongbuk University shows that these bacteria in mealworms effectively degrade various kinds of plastic, especially polystyrene. These are the materials used in this study. These are the plastic sheets and styrofoam used in this study. We used oat to breed mealworms and prepared identical settings for each experiment. Since it is ineffective to count each mealworm to estimate the total number of mealworms in this study, we decided to weigh the total amount of mealworms and weigh the mealworm to calculate the number of the mealworms. This is how the actual experiment procedure went. Put three grams of polyethylene film into the acrylic box. Count 200 mealworms and put them into the acrylic box. Put air holes into the lid of the container. Seal the acrylic container with the top. After three days, take the polyethylene film out of the acrylic box. Weigh it and record the mass. Put it back into the container. Repeat steps seven, eight, nine for the sixth and ninth days. Do the same for styrofoam box and PVC tube.
As the experiment progressed, we can observe that the plastics left in the box, filled with mealworms, gradually de decreased in size. This is the experiment conducted with styrofoam. This is the experiment conducted on PVC. This is the experiment conducted on PE. As the preceding experiment, we tried to find correlations between genes and the biodegradation of plastics. First, we searched yellow mealworms gene data through NCBI website. Then we collected data on the gene name, description, and location for every 87 genes. As a result, we researched each gene to de determine whether it is responsible for the biodegradation of polystyrene. The NCBI houses a series of databases relevant to biotechnology and biomedicine and is an essential resource for bioinformatics tools and service, services. Major databases include GeneBank for DNA sequences and PubMed, a bibliographic database for biomedical literature. Three experiments were repeated overall. The first experiment started with the PE film weighing 2.93 gram, styrofoam weighing 3.06 gram, PVC weighing 3.2 gram, and dry wood weighing 2.97 gram. PE film weighed 2.85 gram on the 12th day, styrofoam weighed 2.18 gram, PVC weighed 3.19 gram, and dry wood weighed 2.97 gram. At the start of the second repeated experiment, the PE film weighed 2.94 gram, styrofoam weighed 3.06 gram, PVC weighed 3.56 gram, and dry wood weighed 3 gram. On the 12th day, polyacetylene film weighed 2.89 gram, styrofoam 1.3 gram, PVC 3.52 gram, and dry wood 2.99 gram. The P film weighed 2.99 gram, styrofoam weighed 2.99 gram, PVC weighed 3.4 gram, and dry wood weighed 3.01 gram at the start of the last repeated experiment. On the 12th day, P film weighed 2.91 gram, styrofoam weighed 2.28 gram, PVC weighed 3.39 gram, and dry wood weighed 3 gram. According to the risk, Reference, polystyrene degrades with in the process. Therefore, no ones will have a degradation pathway that is still unknown. The possible genes in charge of the biodegradation are as follows. ND2, ND1, CYTB, ND6, ND4L, ND4, ND5, ND3, COX3, ATP6, ATP8, COX2, COX1. This table shows the list, description, and location of the possible genes in charge of biodegradation. Polystyrene is one of the main polymer types of plastic waste and is resistant to biodegradation, resulting in PS waste persistence in the environment. Contrastingly, in experiment one showed that yellow mealworms can decompose PS effectively. To discover specific enzymes of the mealworm that were responsible for the ability of biodegradation of PS, experiment two was conducted. Data showed that certain genes could enable the mealworms to decay polystyrene. Standard methods described in other documents regard micro microorganisms as the factor of biodegradation. This paper reflects a broader aspect, millworms, to find a productive way. To enhance the statistical significance of the data, multiple trials were conducted using the same variables and environment. The limitation that prevented the least room for error were the lack of lab equipment that more trials could amend. In addition, the economic validity of using millworms should be questioned to be re reasonable. Fur further research should 
regard the specific enzymes of the yellow mealworms and test which could break down polystyrene. Thank you for listening.